Hey, thanks for staying with us. It's coming up on 5.30 here in Baltimore. Kelly Swoop, Jamie Costello, and the word sleazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sleazy was thrown around at the state house today. It's an ugly game of politics as the, <clears throat> excuse me, O'Malley administration is in its final days or, or a responsible plan for environment and taxes. Cheryl Connor brings us both sides of a land deal that really is up for debate. There is beauty out here. The ducks, a blue heron, the sun shining on the farmland in Kent County. This is Wick's farm on the eastern shore. And while the setting is something to admire, the debate about its future was not so pretty at the state house. All my years here, I don't, I don't see anything quite as sleazy, and the governor mentioned integrity, something that challenges the integrity of the process. Sleazy is the word state comptroller Peter Francho uses to describe a deal the state made to buy the 255-acre farm for $2.8 million and lease it back to an eastern shore food hub for $1. Francho was the only member of the Board of Public Works doubting the integrity of the plan. And how can you, with a straight face, really speak to farmers on the eastern shore who are wondering how they can compete fairly. So there was a break to check the law for open space properties and then arguments that the deal is political favoritism. There are many instances where this board has approved leases for for a dollar, whether it's curators who live on the property in exchange for keeping them up. But after debate, the three-member board changed the plan to take other offers instead of quickly accepting the Eastern Shore Company that is said to have political ties. The secretary of the Department of Natural Resources says taxpayers will benefit. The project that was just approved is the project to acquire the Wick Farm, which uh, uh, is a targeted ecological area that can consists of forested buffers that protect streams, that consist of wetlands that will help melt Maryland's water quality. All opposed? Controller votes no. Still Francho voted no even as other companies can bid on the land moving forward. In Annapolis, Cheryl O'Connor, ABC2 News.